Hey guys, Gadget Girl Kylie here, and welcome back to my Let's Play walkthrough of Murdered Soul Suspects. And on this episode, we are entering the church for the second time after all the commotion of the police sirens. So let's see what the score is. Very dramatic. Cops and criminals get used to red and blue flashing lights. Even after you get numb to them, sometimes they still chill your bones. You can get that feeling that this time, they mean something personal. Crime scene, so someone's been murdered. Oh, there she is, causing trouble okay. again. No, no, Joy, Joy, don't! Damn it. Well, she's left the door open for us at least. Maybe she is secretly concerned about us. Think, oh, I'll leave the door open for, them, for Ronan to follow. Got her sneaking up the side staircase. Says she's a friend of the priest. <gasps> Where's Walter McCauley? Is he all right? Just put her in my car. I want to interview her myself. Can somebody remind Broyles that the door's not going to watch itself? Yes, sir. It's a simple question, please! Take it easy on her. <laughs> hey. Anybody find Baxter yet? Nope. Into a station, drove by his place, nothing. You know, there's definitely something wrong here. I mean, honestly, have you ever seen anything like this? <laughs> After this stuff, it feels like a goddamn riddle. I don't know. I just seem so demented. Demented? I gotta find this crime scene before they cart away all the evidence. Find out what happened at the church. Joy and Iris are at the church. I need to make sure they're okay. Start investigation. Right. So. I'm going to go upstairs. I won't teleport past them. There we go. I get to possess the police officer and then I can get over there. So probably before I leave the church, I will off camera go and find the rest of the collectibles that I'm missing. Wow. It's all pointing to Baxter at the moment that he's going to be the bell killer, but I'm sure he had brown eyes and not blue eyes. But I'm beginning to wonder, is he possessed or something? Oh my god. Ah. Oh. Iris. Okay, so we're looking for six clues. How exactly did Iris die? Crushed to death. Statue stones. Improvised weapon, I guess. Iris was killed by the bell killer, but how did he find her? How indeed? That is the question. Mm -hmm. 
Fallen glass, shattered window glass, just like from my murder. So maybe she was pushed out of the window. First. Dragging. Iris's blood. That must be Iris's blood from when she was trying to get away from the killer. Crushing impact. Only something powerful could crack the ground like this, probably after falling from a height. Heavy. <laughs> this was where the statue was before it ended up on Iris. Hmm. What am I missing? I've done that one. Done that one. Done that one. Maybe it's time to conclude the investigation. Oh, hang on. Toppled over. The killer must have pushed over this statue to break it. She was obviously pushed out the window and now she's got a hurt leg, so she can't run away. Damn it. She'd stayed at the hospital, she'd still be alive. Don't hold too tight to what's keeping you here. Just remember, this wasn't your fault. I'm sorry. At least they can both pass on now because they're back together. Sisterly love. What else did he do here? Search for the killer trail upstairs. Work of a real monster. Nothing sacred to this guy. Creepy children. Let's we go this way, guys. Aha! Sanctuary. Ronan isn't religious and neither am I, but I am starting to get through to him about the sense of tradition that comes from a place like St. Benedict. It was a breath of fresh air to be there today. That Father Macaulay, he's doing such fine work in the community. A real inspiration, that one. All the things I've done with troubled young people pales in comparison to what Macaulay has done. If there's such a thing as living a living saint, he's got to qualify. Not unless he's the killer. Oh my god. Oh shit.
Well, I don't want to do that quite yet because there's other things I haven't done. Like, I haven't gone this way. Oh, so there's two areas now. Maybe I should come back up to this bit and do the other one first. So yeah, let's do this one first. Falling, looks like. Falling. Scared. Needs help. Iris fleeing. Iris stumbles through the group of people, apparently fleeing from somewhere else. Thrown victim. Why take out all these people? Footprint on the windowsill. This must be the route both Iris and the killer took to get down to the courtyard. Beaten victim. The killer ruthlessly attacks these people. Twisted victim. They didn't stand a chance. More broken glass. Lady, you still with us? You, you just stopped talking. Thrown against. Broken window. The killer throwing people against this window must have broken it. Influence. What would make her think about why the killer murdered them? Iris fleeing? The girl was running away. That's who he's after. Not the rest of us. Massacre. The witness claims the killer was obviously after Iris and they got in this in his way, so he killed them. Everyone, let's get this picture. We've got to get to the reception now. Everybody, get the picture. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Let me go. Let me go. He's, he's here. Look, you need to back off. Whoa. She is super powerful. Oh. Uh, these weren't normal Bell Killer murders. 
These people were just in the way. He was after Iris. I wonder if there's more evidence in Joy's room. Random casualties. This massacre was not part of the Bell Killer's plan. They just got in the way, so he killed them, just like me. Hello. The path to life. The path to death. The path to life, the path to death, the steps behold. Uh, steps hold trembling feet. Steps hold trembling feet. I can't remember which way it was now. It was this way, wasn't it? This away. I don't think there's anything else around here, collectibles wise, to be honest. I'll probably do my main searching for collectibles later. Off camera. Okay, I think I'm going to stop this episode here, guys, and on the next episode we shall find the clues within this room. So if you liked what you saw, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and feel free to leave a comment. I'll be sure to get back to you. If you want to help me out even further, don't forget to favourite and share the video. As always, thank you for watching and take it easy, guys.